My name is Katie Finnegan, and I am the Coastal Process Specialist for South Carolina Sea Grant Consortium and Coastal Carolina University. This video will show a series of images from the Folly Beach Pier in South Carolina that capture the 2024 Beach Nourishment Project occurring. The series of images you are about to see are the result of a citizen science project called CoSnap. As shown in this photo, there is a phone mount on the pier where visitors can place their cell phones and take photos of the shoreline that are all from the same vantage point. These images then allow researchers to track how the shoreline is changing due to storms, king tides, and nourishment events. As the series plays, you can keep track of the dates in the upper left-hand corner. We will see images from the month of June that demonstrate the different stages of a beach nourishment project at this location. In these first few images from the end of May, the nourishment project has not yet begun, and you can see how crowded the beach gets at high tide, with limited room to put up umbrellas and chairs. On June 3rd, the first stages of the nourishment process begin, and you will see that part of the area is coned off, and a bulldozer is pushing up a berm, or a mound of sand, from existing material on the beach. The berm is going to trap the sand from the sediment mixture that is being pumped onto the beach from the Folly River, and let the water run back into the ocean. The berm will be maintained at around 1,000 feet in length, which is about three football fields. The berm is continuously rebuilt after it's impacted by waves. A week later, on June 10th, the beach nourishment work has reached our field of view, and you will see there is a brown pipe which is pumping the sand into the work area. Sections of pipe are continuously added as work progresses down the beach, Small trailers which hold supplies and serve as a workspace for the contractor and engineers are also dragged along as the work progresses. The bulldozers will push the newly pumped sand to create a certain shape that engineers have designed. There are GPS units on the bulldozers to help them make that shape. The sand color also appears dark at times, but once the sun has a chance to oxidize it, it returns to a lighter color. By June 13th, you will see that the waves will start to naturally shape the newly placed sand. During this process, you will often notice that a small shelf or a scarp is formed. The waves are moving the sand around to a more natural slope through an equilibration process. The sand isn't being washed away, it's just being redistributed throughout the beach. By June 20th, you will see the trailers and equipment have moved from this section of beach and people are back to enjoying the beach. The pipe is going to remain in place until the end of the nourishment project is reached, and the contractor will come back and disassemble and remove the pipe. The contractor will often build temporary sand ramps over this pipe so that vis visitors can still access the beach. By June 21st, you can start to see how high and low tide positions have changed since the nourishment has occurred. That small shell for that scarp that we observed before has disappeared in the last week. Thanks to this beach nourishment project, there is now additional storm protection, recreation space, and habitat in this area. We'd like to thank all the partners involved in making this CoSnap project at Folly Beach a success, including the Army Corps of Engineers, the Army Corps of Engineers Engineering and Research Development Center, Coastal Carolina University, the City of Folly Beach, and the Charleston County Park and Recreation Commission.